Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to a new video. Today's video will be covering all of the big off-season changes slash transfers inside the professional scene, which happened during the last month. I saw many comments below recent videos where people were asking why a certain player plays for a new team now and hopefully with this video you should be up to date again. So let's jump right into it. After the ESL1 Cologne Major two months ago, there was a little gap of tournaments which pro players used to go on holidays and take a little rest from playing the game. Since there were only a few small tournaments going on in August, big teams had their time to think through and decide if they want to change something with their lineups and actually many organizations surprised us by signing new players this last month. Navi signing Simple from Team Liquid The first transfer during the off-season time was more or less expected. The only question was who will be replaced. The Ukrainian organization decided to sign Simple from Team Liquid and replaced him with founding member and in-game leader Zeus. Navi placed second at the major in Klushna Poker and at the major in Columbus and had to accept that they ended up in a little slump after getting kicked out of the quarterfinal at ESL1 Cologne 2016 by Team Liquid. Overall Navi was unable to continue their good results from late 2015 and early 2016 and so they decided to pick up Simple, who played an unbelievable major in Cologne and was one of the main factors for Team Liquid's amazing run at the event. Godsend and Fnatic swapped 3 players The next change was by far the most unexpected one out of all the changes I'm going to mention in this video. The two Swedish organizations Fnatic and Godsend agreed on changing 3 players from each active lineups. So Godsend brought in JW, Flusher and Crims while Fnatic brought in Lecro, Twist and Venton. The change could be explained with Fnatic, who used to dominate the scene and which never have been able to secure another trophy since March 2016. JW said in an interview, our results have not been satisfying to all of us lately and I guess you can say that these internal pressures test friendships. Unfortunately, we did not pass that test. So what we can assume is that their poor recent performances, not including the E-League final though, really had its impact on their harmony inside the team. Alu leaves ends and joins FaZe. As I said before just one day after the huge swap between Godsend and Fnatic, FaZe Clan announced that Alu joined the international team by replacing the Portuguese Alper Fox. Alu made himself attentive once again when he joined Nip in early 2016. By joining Enz, Alu kind of disappeared from the big stage in the scene, but has been putting in great performances under Enz with an average rating of 1.13. Fox, who has been always a target for criticism since he joined the team under contract with Kingwin, now had to leave for Alu. Automatic joins Cloud9. Cloud9 officially did a roster change as well by adding Automatic from Team Solomid. Automatic played an important role for the recent success of Team Solomid in the last two months, and so Cloud9 decided to replace him with Slammy. It was rumored that Slammy might switch over into the coaching role for the team but rejected the offer since he stated that he wants to continue playing. Just the day before, Valve announced that they limited coach communication at Valve sponsored events since they see coaches as a sixth player. It could be that Slammy decided not to coach just because of that new rule, which will also be supported at every ESL tournament. Who knows? Tarek joined Optic Gaming. Just one day after ESL1 Cologne 2016, Tarek announced that he will step down from the active CLG roster and returning home until the end of his contract. CLG failed to obtain their legend status at the ESL1 Cologne Major by getting kicked out in the group stage. However, just one month later Tarek joins Optic Gaming by replacing Stanislav. Oscar joins Mouse Sports. For the last transfer of today's video guys, we have got the addition of former Hellraisers player Oscar for Mouse Sports. Mouse Sports bought him out of his contract with Hellraisers a month early, which was supposed to run out in September. Already back in June, Hellraisers announced that Oscar will not likely remain on the active roster as he already signed a new contract with another organization, which is now confirmed to be Mouse Sports. Oscar will replacing Nex. So guys, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are now up to date once again. If you enjoyed, let me know by liking this video or through feedback in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching and have an amazing day.